among students in last lecture i already explained about the shapes of epithelial cell tissues the shapes of the epithelial tissues but in this lecture i will explain the complete explanation one by one first of all squamous epithelial tissue so first of all we see about the squamous epithelial tissue see there this structure this was the basement membrane in there and down in the little little nucleus in there this was the cell only this was the flagging structure flagging structure like a tile like a tile squamous epithelium can be compared to the tiles on the floor see there when tiles are there very flat you don't have to put one tile on the other tile tiles like this the flat structure in there and this compromises the single layer of a flat but large cell there the flat is there but large cell is there yes students flat but large cell is there and the central nuclei are placed on the membrane that is of the basement membrane the central nuclei is there and the basement membrane is there an example of squamous epithelium yes student example of squamous epithelium are inner lining of the cheeks our cheeks are there the inner lining and the membrane the lining of the blood blood vessel the blood vessel lining is also done by the that one only squamous epithelium am i right or wrong the squamous epithelium and the flag in nature their height is very very less but their uh, width is more width is more but height is not more like the other cell other cell height so uh, a lot of height is there their height is more than the this one so this is the squamous epithelium now we see the cuboidal next one is the cuboidal epithelium tissue now cuboidal is the single layer of cuboidal cell that are placed on the basement membrane single layer of this single layer of the basement membrane you have to put the is what constitute the cuboidal epithelium it constitute the cuboidal epithelium down this is there and here the nucleus is there on the down basement is there yes examples are the inner lining of thyroid gland our inner lining of thyroid gland and salivary gland and salivary gland now tall and cylindrical cell now come on the next one is a columna uh, that is the columna next one is a columna epithelium yes tall and cylindrical cell form the columna epithelium so the tall tall cells are there see here tall cells are there see here Every cell has the height which is more than the width of the cell. Height of the cell is more than the width. Now the basement is there, and here the nucleus are also present there. And nucleus are oval in shape. Nucleus are oval in shape. Example is the inner lining of intestine. Now we see the next one. Last one is the ciliated epithelium. Ciliated epithelium. Hair-like structure called cilia. Here the cilia are there. Hair-like structure are there. They may be contain columnar or may be cuboidal cells are there present in the ciliated epithelium. The cilia are sometimes present on the free surface of epithelium cell. The cilia hair are there present on the free surface of the cell only. Other structure may be may be columnar or may be cuboidal. Yes, makes the ciliated epithelium cell in the inner lining of windpipe. Example, inner lining of a windpipe branchia. That made from the ciliated only. It helps to filter the air. It helps to stop the stop the unwanted particles. Helps to filter the air in the branchia, windpipe only. Now our next topic is. muscular tissue muscular tissue this tissue help in the movement yes student you know about this you we have the muscle so by using muscle we have to move we have the legs in the leg we have the muscle that's why we are able to move yes the muscle the fiber contain the contractile protein our muscles have the contractile protein yes contractile protein that help in to bring about Movement that helping to bring about movement because of the contractile protein, 
We are able to do movements today. Yes. The muscle can only contract and relax. The muscle contract and relax, not expand. Contract, relax. Come on the same position, original position. Yes, they cannot expand. They cannot expand. This tissue is of three types. Three types are three. Depending upon the structure and nature of itself. Depending upon their structure and the nature of itself, it becomes three types. Yes, student. First one is the straighted, straight, maybe voluntary. A lot of names are there. Voluntary, the voluntary which are able to control, our brain able to control voluntary action. But involuntary action which are, we are unable to control. For example, heartbeat. Heartbeat not controlled by our brain. So first one is the straighted, straight and voluntary. Second one is smooth, voluntary, involuntary. And the third one is the cardiac muscle, heart. Non-stop working. Yes. So first of all, we see the difference. Are cylindrical in shape. The stripped muscles are, you can say that voluntary muscles are in cylindrical shape. Like this only, cylindrical shape only. Cylindrical shape. And these insulin muscles are spindle shape. Spindle means like the, from the corner, it was the, like a spine. Tap up, tap up in nature. Yes, a spindle shape. They are also cylindrical and branch. Cylindrical, but little bit branch are there from there. Branches are there. Second, we see, have the S and light bands. Yes, they are the light bands are there like this. Strips are there. And they do not have stretch. In this one, spindle are no stretch like that. No stretch is there. In the in this one, have the faint stretch, faint being a very light one, you are unable to see. But in this one, lining like this, not stretch like this only. Yes, third one, are multi nucleated in nature. Multi nucleated, they have the multi nucleus in there. But have this one, smooth involuntary, have the single nucleus. And the cardiac muscle, they have the single nucleus but appears to be multi nucleus. Yes, now the last uh, fourth one is a walk under our control, our brain. Do not walk under our control. This is not under our control. And a cardiac muscle also not, our, uh, not walk under our control. For example, voluntary muscle like the leg, hand, you are able to make move. First of all, you think, then you are able to move. Yes, message given by the brain to the muscle. Yes, stomach, intestine, there is a present of the legs and neck the arm. And here stomach, intestine, urinary bladder. And last one is the this one present in the heart, cardiac muscle, non-stop working. When it uh, stop working, then the person dies. So student, this is my lecture on the muscular tissue. In next lecture, we discuss about the connective tissue. Thank you.